If you want to help out the channel, you can head over to my Patreon, try to get yourself a mug, sticker, or a tote bag. There are tier systems set up over there. I will put the link in the description, and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss any of my live streams. I do exclusive giveaways. You can try and get yourself a Zippo, and also I'll have a PayPal link in the description too if you want to donate to the channel that way. Hey everybody, how you doing? I have a very special unboxing for you today. It is a special Zippo. It's given to me from a friend's Zen Toaster. I'm opening it finally today. I was thinking about putting the rotation and using it. Uh, it's a very nice Zippo Armor Deep Carb. Uh, it says here 49289 Medieval Design. Uh, but on the thing, they tell you it is uh, Thor's Hammer Molnir. If you go to Zippo.com and you read up all about it, or you can just type that code into Google, it'll bring you straight there. You can go into it and it'll tell you all about it, that this is meant to be Thor's hammer, the mighty uh, Mjolnir uh, level mountains. It says it all on the thing. But take a closer look at it. You can just see they put this uh, blue crystal in here. Uh, they don't specify what it is. Probably something very cheap. Uh, but this weaving pattern they do behind the hammer, like this is all hammer, and then that's all weaving pattern. It's just beautiful. Uh, very good intricate job. I really like these deep carves. I uh, can't wait to get my rose gold deep carve armor uh, That's coming out for the winter fall catalog gonna be ordering a few of those uh, gonna be my new favorite Zippo But until then this is gonna do So we got i20 armor symbol made in Bradford USA The registered trademark is still here. You will see in the new 21s. It has moved down a bit and oh yes, the sticker's still on, gotta pull that off. And in typical Zippo Fanatic fashion, and what I think everyone should do in their unboxing videos, you take this out, flip it over guaranteed side, uh, put your price tag and your seal sticker in the box, and then always have it guarantee face up. <clears throat> I don't know why Zippo doesn't do that, um, but that's what I like to see when I do it. I suggest everyone else do it. And then, we are going to get into the inside of the Zippo now. We got the insert. I won't use this insert. I don't need to. Oh, it's in there pretty tight. And let's see if we got a matching one. I know we did not get a matching one, but a Zippo insert nonetheless. Uh, but before we put this away, what people should start doing in all their unboxing videos too, is start opening these taking your flint out anyways if you don't plan on using it right if you're just storing it there's no sense having the flint in there you could use that flint uh and then we take a look at the inside see how it's packed so we'll take our felt out i guess i'll need the screwdriver so we'll see how it feels like oh, it feels like i was wrong again wick Three pieces of cotton, wick still not visible. Oh, there it is, right there, little piece there. All right, so, and once again, only four pieces. Sometimes it's five in there, sometimes it's four. There's no consistency. I do not know. This was packed all the way around there. And I'm not including the pack, the piece that stays packed in there. I mean, just in this channel here. I never mean behind there, if anyone's ever wondering what I'm talking about. So we'll just do what we always do. We will fix this. All you gotta do is put it down. Have how much you want in. And I'm gonna try something new this time. I'm gonna try, instead of doing it a zigzag pattern, I'm gonna try it like this and see how it does. Have it in there, and the whole side like that getting saturation from all viewpoints what do you guys think about that i'm gonna try it out i don't know i'm actually not gonna test it because like i said this insert's <laughs> just gonna go sit in the in the box until i put the zippo back in i switch around my own inserts but so all mine are packed properly i unravel the cotton and i make strips just two nice strips that's all i need on each side and uh, for anyone who hasn't seen this before, I do this because balling, balling your cotton into pinch points with your wick is no good and it makes, uh, it chokes fluid and it, 
it weighs fluid and it keeps fluid in there dormant that doesn't get soaked to the wick and you never get to use and uh, this just makes your fluid last longer and it just keeps your wick a little more healthier and it'll also in turn by keeping your wick more saturated will actually uh, make your wick last longer as well too so that's always something to be interested into doing when you're doing proper zippo maintenance let's see if i can do that no see it's opening up by the time i even get it there i think i got it on camera that time all right so we put it where we want it our wick is shaped the way we want it in there you can see now we push it push it to the side with my world war ii mess knife aluminum handle not plastic resin and we'll just stuff that in there but you want to do it evenly right you want to make sure it's on each side these strips all right one side filled now you pull it out and you got to get it on the other side of that wick so you got to press it over you got to get it on the other side of that wick and you can see you've got it on the other side of the wick when you put the blade in right you can see you're pressing it you can see you're pressing it flat up no wick no nothing you get your other strip like i said you want to get it in there evenly And then hold it so you don't pull cotton out. There. And you just push it in a little. And everything will fit back perfect. Your felt pad will go back perfect. And then we slide this in. Alright guys, and if you have a Zippo channel and you watch my channel and you want to make unboxing videos, I suggest you do all the same thing check all the same thing uh, I forgot to check hinge play <laughs> at the beginning here is the hinge play on that uh, pretty loose for a brand new Zippo uh, but that is the modern now that is what most people expect to get out of their Zippo for some reason that's how they're doing it uh, they used to be way tighter I have brand new Zippos in the box I have video showing and I'm not going to do it and pull it out here I like to keep them brand new and tight like that so I can go back and reference them but uh, very interesting stuff here. Uh, so everyone take care. If you want to do an unboxing video, that's how you do it. I really love the medieval Thor Molnir Zippo. It uh, feels great in the hand. A beautiful carve. I'm not sure about the stone though. We will see uh, as time goes on. But uh, once again, thanks Zen Toaster for this. Everybody take care. I will see you in the next video. And you have a good one.